Good morning, boys and girls. We're going to draw this adorable little praying mantis. I think it's a cool little bug. It's kind of stylized and animated. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to start with his head way over here on this side of the page. And it's a triangle shape that has a little bit of erasing. So start with a wide V shape like this. Now, this is where his eyeballs are going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and put them in right now. I like him better with giant eyeballs. You can make them smaller if you want. And then erase any of that line that is inside your circle. Okay, go ahead and erase that. So what I'm going to do here is draw this with an ink pen so it's easier for you to see. So here's his big eyeball and another big eyeball. And you can have them smaller. And then when you come down here, instead of making it super pointy, I do sometimes kind of round it just a little bit. Did you see how I did that? And then I'm going to finish off the triangle by just putting a line on top. Okay? We'll come back to his eyes later. Now, the main thing to remember about praying mantises is that they're super long and super skinny. So we're going to make a long oval shape for his first thorax shape. So we're going to go down, look how long that is, and come back up in a long skinny oval shape. Okay, I'm going to make sure you can see that, so I'm going to trace it in ink just like that. Nice skinny oval. Now for his abdomen, it's a little bit bigger and it has an overlapping line, so I am going to do this in pencil. It's got a nice big oval shape. It's still really long, it's just a little bit wider. Okay, great, let's get his front legs in. So remember, long, skinny, long, skinny, okay? So his first front leg, a long, skinny oval. His second front leg, you wanna kinda angle it so they don't run into each other. Another long, skinny oval. And then look and see if they're about the same size. Then another long skinny oval, and another long skinny oval. So they're pretty symmetrical. They look the same, same animal. This one's a little bit different. I'm going to start with a straight line first, and then curve to the bottom, curve to the bottom. Now, praying mantis have these little hairs on them. I like to add those in. Basically, those help them stick to the wall. So those look kind of cool when you stick those in, I think. Now, if you want, you could give him a little smile here. So fun. Let's work on his second set of legs. So his second set of legs come out of this thorax too. So you want to make sure they come out of the bottom down here. And what you're going to do is two more skinny ovals, a little bit longer. One, skip a space, two. These are a little bit longer. Remember, insects have six legs, so this is his next set of legs. Another long skinny oval, long skinny oval. And then these little feet are on the ground. Isn't that cute? So we're just gonna have them go down to the ground here. And you wanna make them a little bit oval, a little bit oval. Same little teeny tiny hairs that help them hold on to the wall. Now his back legs are kind of like a grasshopper's. So we're going to start with a little oval first. Now the other one is coming from the other side of this body, so we're not going to put it in yet, okay? This part's coming from the other side of the body. Now we're going to go up like a grasshopper. Long, skinny oval, and the next one, really long, down, really long, skinny oval. Don't forget to pause anytime you're getting behind, because I go pretty fast in the videos. And then curve and come on back. They have these little spindly legs. Now, the reason I didn't trace that line was because of this leg. So we need to show another knee coming up. So we're going to show his knee coming up, okay? And then we're going to let it disappear behind. 
you can see how it's disappearing behind. Do you see that? It's going right behind that leg. And yours might go maybe down this way because they can be in different positions. So then you have to think about where is it going to come out? It might come out over here. If you look at the leg, does it come out over here? Or does it come out over here? You have to decide. Because what you have to put on is the little end of the leg. So that's the end of this oval. And then another long curved shape. So you have to really decide where is it coming out on the other side. Now he does have a wing. So this is going to be the back of the wing laying against his back. Stopping and starting. Stopping and starting. And it's even longer than his body. You want to kind of split this space in half. Do you see I'm kind of cutting it in half? Stopping and starting. Stopping and starting. Stopping and to the point. That's why I didn't trace that line, because it's underneath on his body. Now I can go ahead and trace this one. So now you can see it really well. So if you have any overlapping lines like this one, you would want to take an eraser and erase them out and get rid of them. Okay? You don't want to have them in your final drawing. So you would just go in and erase any lines that are overlapping. Overlapping means that his leg is in front of it. His wing is in front of it. His leg is in front of it. So we have overlapping lines here, here, and here, and here. Did you catch all those? Make sure you erase any overlapping lines. Okay, so he's pretty much done. Now we get to do all the little fun details, okay? One is, what are we going to do with his eyes? His antennas are crazy. So they look so cool when you do something kind of fun. So check mine out. <laughs> I have to put in sound effects because I think it's way more fun. Look at those crazy antennas. Now let's look back at this guy. See how he has little skinny eyes? And then check this one out over here. Isn't that funny? It's a little bit different. Put some lines here and here. Put the legs on differently. Can you see? Look at those silly eyes and a little heart-shaped mouth. So if you like this one, you can pause it and try some of those ideas. It's always a good idea to figure out how you want yours to look. I'm going to give this guy giant eyeballs. Look at those giant eyeballs. I'm also going to give him a reflective dot. So I make a big circle here like this. And then when I color in his eyes, I don't color in that little circle. And I'm using a marker here. You could do the same thing with a pencil. And you could do the same thing with a crayon. Or paint, depending on what you're doing. But see how he has huge eyes? And look at his eyes. More little. And this one, super silly eyes. Okay? So eyelashes and eyebrows, they're always an option. Check out what happens here when I make him look mean. Oh, he's a little cross. Can you guys tell he's a little cross? He's kind of a grumpy one, but fun. Okay, so you're pretty much done with the drawing at this point. You get to decide what you want to add to it, what kind of things you want to add. I want you to see how these pinchers are different. I want you to see how the back legs are different than this one. Look at that. Because it's art, you guys, you can always do it different. Look at the little dots on his antenna. It's super fun to change things up. Look at his eyebrows way up there. That's kind of a silly way to do it, huh? So you could add other things. You could make this look more like a wing by showing some of those broken lines inside to make it look kind of light, sort of like a leaf. If you like that, you can add it. You can add stripes. Like I might come in here and add some stripes to his thorax. Remember, this is art, so we can always do it a little bit differently. On his belly here, if I wanted it to look round, maybe I'm going to continue those little stripes. Super cute. All of these are slightly different and slightly making it your own, but it's still a praying mantis. So have a good day, and I'll see you in the next drawing.